Problem 10, Camila writes down five positive integers. The unique mode of these integers is two greater than their median, and the median is two greater than, than their arithmetic mean. What is the least possible value of the mode? So don't read as fast as I am. When you're panicked and you're rushed, always read even more slowly. So in this case, let's take it step by step and convert everything into algebraic, into an algebraic interpretation, into number form. That way we have all the information we need to solve the question. Camila writes down five positive integers. So that must mean that the integers are positive, but I don't know what they are. So we'll make five slots to represent them. The unique mode of these integers is two greater than their median. All right, so let's say the median is x. If this were to be the median, that must mean this is less than the median, this is larger than the median by convention. So from here, what must be the mode? Well, the mode is the number that repeats the most. And within any sequence, a mode must be greater than one. Because think about it, if it's one, three, five, seven, eight, for example, where is the mode? Well, everything repeats, everything occurs only once. So in this case, there is no mode. But if I add to, we have two eights, then finally I have at least one mode of eight. So just from this simple example of, of asking yourself, hey, what is a mode? You should be able to think that, oh, x plus two, right? That's the mode. The mode is two greater, so it must be on the right of x. But if this were to be only occurring once, then there would be no mode, because from this example, we, sh we showed you why that's the case. So if there must be at least one of it, then there must be another x plus two in the, in the fifth term. Otherwise, we would have a mode that could potentially occur right here. And that's not the case, we want it to be occurring right here. So therefore we must have at least two x plus two s's. Now with this, we can continue. The median is two greater than the arithmetic mean. The arithmetic mean is the sum of all numbers divided by the number of numbers. I had, I'm not given any information about these two numbers, so let's just assume that these are a and b. The arithmetic mean would therefore be a plus b plus three x plus four, divided by five, and that plus two must give the arithmetic mean, or rather the median, which is x. With this, let's simplify. a plus b plus three x plus four must give what? Must give five x minus 10. Therefore, a plus b, right, minus two x plus 14 must give zero. Now comes the guess and check. x is equal to the median. Therefore, x plus two must equal to mode. And all the answer choices are given possible values of the mode. So therefore we have possible values of the median, therefore we can find any case that deviates from our conditions and therefore it won't be right, therefore we can isolate the correct answer. So starting from the left, we have five because we're trying to find the least possible value, so we start from the left. When, it's, when the mode is equal to five, that means the median, right, must be equal to three. So if the median is equal to three, that means x is equal to three. So a plus b must give two x minus 14 which is equal to six minus 14, which is less than zero. But wait a minute, a and b are given to be positive integers. And any number that's less than zero summed together must be both negative. So that means a is out the question, a is not correct. What about b? When b is equal to seven, then that means that the mode is seven. That means x is equal to five. If x is equal to five, then again, we have another case of 10 minus 14. 10 minus 14 is also less than zero, therefore b is out the question as well. What about c? Well. If the mode, right, is equal to nine, then the median will be equal to seven, but seven times two minus 14 would give zero. If that's the case, A is equal to negative B, meaning that one must be positive and one must be negative. Therefore, since we have all five numbers to be positive, none can be negative. So C is out of consideration as well. What about choice D? Choice D is where the mode is 11. So X is equal to 11 minus two, which gives nine, which means that nine times two minus 14 would finally give a number that's greater than zero, such as four. But wait a minute, this is a constraint on A and B. A and B must be less than the median. In this case, the median is equal to, to 11 minus two, which is nine. So it, are, there, are there two terms, right, that are less than nine that can sum together to give four? And the answer is yes, one and three, right? Or it can be zero and four, but again, it cannot be zero because zero is not positive or negative. So our possible choice is one and three. Since this satisfies the criteria when the mode is 11, this must be the smallest because it satisfied all the conditions and we went from left to right. So whichever one that worked the first time must be the least. Therefore, answer choice D will be your final answer.